Good morning, families and friends. Thank you for viewing our first eighth grade virtual promotion. We're also honoring our eighth grade award recipients. Thank you for all your support during these hard times. Enjoy the slideshow and have a wonderful day. Please rise to the flag salute. Salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sabrina Agnew and I am the ASB president at Chico Junior High for the class of 2020. These past three months have been incredibly challenging for everyone in education and our everyday lives. This is definitely not the way we thought our last few months at Chico Junior would end. Despite these challenges, I would like to spend these next three minutes focusing on the great three years we spent together rather than the past three months that we spent apart. One of the most important things I learned at Chico Junior was to look on the bright side of life, so I will. When I first imagined giving this speech, I pictured myself standing on stage in front of hundreds of eager students ready to move on from this amazing school that has taught us so much the past three years. But as I give this speech today, after spending an hour getting ready to stand in my backyard, I have realized that we have persevered through these hard times with the loving compassion from each other and everyone on campus. Our parents and family members also played a very important role with providing unconditional love and support and have contributed so much to our education. Like many of my fellow classmates, I have been at the school for three years and began my journey in sixth grade. Walking through the gates, I was very nervous but eager to see what journey lied ahead. By simply walking onto campus, I immediately noticed the welcoming and warm environment. One of my favorite things about CJHS is that there is a lot of cultural diversity and everyone has different interests. From drama clubs, sports programs, and the recycling club, Chico Jr. offers everyone a chance to get involved and truly be part of this school. Some of the memories I will never forget from the three short years I spent at Chico Jr. are watching CNN 10 and history every day with Miss Kidd and listening to Carla Zeus complain about something new each day that was wrong with this world. Another unforgettable memory the school has given me is listening to the not so funny, funny jokes and the morning announcements. I will always remember the obvious but unspoken rush to get to the lunch line, especially on the days they serve chicken tenders. Whether it was leadership or iTech, I always look forward to going to class to see Mr. Wall, spelled W-A-H-L, every day. I quickly picked up on the fact that the more he picked on you, the more he liked you, and he never failed to make you smile. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to give a huge thank you to the teachers and administration who made the past three years possible. Not only have you prepared us for the upcoming high school years, but you also gave us so much time and effort to make our education possible. These were just some of the many things I enjoyed while attending Chico Junior High, and I will carry these memories not only throughout high school, but throughout my life. These past three, few years have might have seemed like a lifetime, but in reality, it was only a small chapter in our very long and adventurous story. As we move on from the blue and gold into bigger and better things, I challenge you to always remember to look on the bright side of life. And to my peers, the class of 2020, I wish you the best no matter which direction you choose to go or which high school you choose to attend. The past three years, you have proved that you are resilient and can do anything you put your mind to. Thank you and go Cougars. Welcome to the first ever virtual commencement ceremony of Chico Junior 2019 through 2020. My name is Sofia Alfaro. This school year has been very memorable for everyone. Chico Junior has given us many opportunities. We have some amazing dances that include games, delicious foods, and the mad DJ schools of Mr. Salas. We also have dedicated athletes who are going to do great things in high school. Chico Junior has offered us many diverse clubs that gave us opportunities to become leaders and the skills we need to succeed in high school. The teachers here are amazing, hardworking, caring, and dedicated. For example, Mr. Edke has helped me develop my confidence and shown me that I have a voice and I have ideas to share. Not to mention Mrs. Sislop always says she knows her students so well she knows when something's off. She'll pull them aside and help them whichever way she can. Not all was sunshine and roses for the 8th graders this year. We were faced with an epidemic that affected the whole country. We left on spring break not knowing we just had our last day of school. If we had known, we would have hugged our friends more and smiled at everyone and said thank you to the staff. We would have taken our time walking down the school halls and admiring the art on our walls. And we would have returned any library books and any pencils borrowed from any teacher. While the situation caused us to be defeated, it made us grow as students. We learned about distance learning, about having patience with ourselves when learning new material, and challenging our idea of what school should look like. I am proud that the Chico Junior family has come together to help. 
Whether it is offering meals or creating fun activities through social media, Chico Jr. continues to do great things. We can't see through the fog, but I know that the fog will clear out. And when it does, the sun will shine much brighter than before. Hello, I'm Kaina. Well, we've definitely done it. As we sit here today, our middle school careers are coming to a close right before our very eyes. The next chapter of our lives lies ahead of us. And looking back uh, on our past three years, I feel confident in saying that we definitely are prepared in facing whatever obstacles we may encounter during our pursuit through high school. Middle school was not a tough journey. Sixth grade was just a step into new territory. Seventh grade was the year of discovery. It was more familiar. Our eighth grade year began with the realization that we were now the upper class and the leaders of the school and concluded with the development of new goals and ambitions of our first year of high school. All throughout middle school, we took chances and experienced changes. Chances personally of setting higher goals and standards in life. Chances academically with grades and extracurriculars and chances socially of branching out and creating new friendships or stronger bonds. We've all experienced new atmospheres and we've all experienced true achievements. But one thing is certain, we would not be where we are today without help and support along the way. The vast amount of new knowledge that we hold today is credit we owe to all of our teachers who taught us curriculum inside the classroom and life lessons out of it. Thank you to Mrs. Lee and Mr. Caldera giving us students a chance to, to make a difference in the school and community. Thank you to Mrs. Murphy and Mrs. Ashley for dancing as, with us every Wednesday morning. Thank you to Mr. Salas and Mr. Ero for playing Fuego with us. Thank you to Ms. Has for helping me when I need it. Special thanks to Ms. Fisher who taught us how important education is. And thank you to Savannah Thompson for be being one of my first friends. We would, we would also like to express our gratitude towards all of the parents for picking up a student after a sports practice or early uh, morning drop offs to volunteering and chaperoning major school functions, occasions, and events. The parents have always been there, always behind us 1,000%. Thank you to all who have made our middle school career and experience the, what it is today and what it will be as we look back upon these memories. All the paths we took, all the decisions we made, they all helped us to realize who we were and who we, we, we wanted. To be we learn not to follow in steps but to create our own middle school was a chance for us to shine once more it was a time to discover how to stand up for our own beliefs we didn't let our fears of belonging prevent us from showing our true selves finding yourself amidst a sea of so many conformities friendships and relationships it was a tough lesson to learn an even harder skill to gain but sure enough we have set our own trends and goals not to let anyone discourage us middle school gave us a chance to learn to love ourselves walk with confidence and live without holding back with the next four years to define who we are once more we will never forget what we have learned within these school walls we will never forget the chances we took the small to major transformations we've all undergone and the opportunities that gave us a chance to realize aspirations the memories we have created together in this school can never be erased and now we sit here waiting what the future holds so as this chapter ends we are more than ready to begin the next one more thank you to all our teachers staff counselors parents and our principal thank you resiliency perseverance adaptability those are the words that I use to describe our experience and the lessons learned at Chico Junior High School. In the course of the last three years, we were hit with new things, completely fresh to the community and the world. First of all, when we came to Chico Junior, we found out what it was like to have multiple teachers in our school day, not just one. This was an unfamiliar way of life. We rose to the new normal and we learned a lot about ourselves, our friends, and who we are. During our seventh grade year, the campfire destroyed the town of Paradise. The fear of the unknown dominated our thoughts throughout that tragic time. Everybody in this area knows somebody who lost their home. 
Everybody in this area was mentally changed by the wildfires. We learned how to cope better in stressful or obscure times. But most importantly, every one of us became a little bit more caring toward others because we don't know what they have been through. Those seventh graders, now eighth graders, became better people during that time and we will keep improving throughout our entire lives. And finally, COVID-19, the crisis that we are experiencing right now has by far changed our school and education the most. This time, all of the world's students have had to adapt to online classes and being quarantined in their homes. Since a massive segment of the school year was canceled due to COVID-19, many of us have had to cope with the fact that we may potentially not see our friends again until the next school year, if ever. This lack of social interaction is hard on the mental level, but we push through it. That means that the eighth, this eighth grade year can handle many of the hardest things in life. If it's any consolation, this pandemic probably gives middle and high school boys a higher chance of washing their hands after they use the restroom than ever before, which is a good thing. What makes this round of eighth graders different from many other grades is that we experienced all of these changes in one fell swoop while at one school. Because of all these setbacks and new experiences, this eighth grade class will be very adept to acclimation. The things that we have gone through as young adults will resonate with us for the rest of our lives. What we learn when we are young better shapes us for our lives ahead. Our brains are still growing, still changing, still adapting. I can tell that we, this eighth grade class, are going to be some of the most resilient to come out of Chico Junior High School. Good morning, Chico Junior parents, family, and friends. We wanna thank you for joining us and celebrating this wonderful occasion. You, the promoting class of 2020, have experienced the campfire, the school flood of 2019, and the COVID epidemic of 2020. Not to mention the freezing stares of our teachers, campus supervisors, and our administration team. In our book, you have all embraced what it means to be resilient. You have faced adversity and you have accepted the challenge to succeed or else you would not be here today. Knowing this, we impart some words of wisdom representing our departments. And for that, Ms. Capen. Congratulations, class of 2020. On behalf of the English department, accept any problems and adversity that come your way. This will be your opportunity to grow and allow yourself to see what you are made of. Our math department, practice patience and delayed gratification. Your future depends on all the decisions you make now. PE, challenge yourself both physically and mentally. Don't be afraid to fail. Failure is always an opportunity to learn. Your full potential has no limits. Science. You are in control of your own destiny. Success is its truest state lives and breathes within all of you. And history. Know the past. Live in the now and prepare for your future. Remember, you can't change the past, but you can always improve the future. And our electives. Take the next step forward. Visualize your dreams and create the mindset that will make your ambitions possible. I love you, class of 2020. Good morning, parents and students. Today, it gives me great pleasure to honor two students who have represented Chico Junior High School to the best of their ability. These are two students who I believe have done an amazing job in making sure that everyone is welcome to make sure that everyone feels safe. And not only that, but they have made Chico Junior that much better. I believe that they're gonna go on to Chico High School and Chico High School is gonna be extremely lucky to have both of these students there. And I'm pretty sure and I'm hoping that both of these students will end up in their leadership classes. So, and here to announce this year's Chico Junior Admin Awards, Ms. Keeper. This year's Chico Junior Admin Awards go to Diego Villasenor and Sarah Vu. Congratulations. Keep smiling, you guys.
I'm Mr. Irwin. It is my pleasure to present Lindsay Snyder and Elliot Bailey with the eighth grade STEM awards. They were excellent role models during their time at the Chico Junior STEM program. They showed tremendous productivity, determination, and ingenuity in solving robotics challenges. I can't wait to see the exciting accomplishments that they achieve in the future. I'm here to present the Female PE Award for the 2020 school year. I'm honored to present this award to Lindsay Becker. Lindsay has had outstanding citizenship, character, and she's athletic. She's always helpful to other people, and she is so deserving of this award. So congratulations to Lindsay. I'm so proud to have been your teacher. Have a great summer. Bye. Hello, everyone. It's a pleasure to put this video together to recognize this year's outstanding music students at Chico Junior. Both recipients are outstanding musicians who have gone beyond and above. They have participated in all facets of the music program throughout their tenure, concert band, small ensembles, and the jazz band. They have demonstrated leadership and musicianship beyond their years. But most important, they are kind and caring young adults who will do great things in the future. Congratulations, Lindsay Becker and Wesley Martin. Hi, I'm Mary Ann Pella Donnelly, science teacher at Chico Junior. 
And I'm Kelly Coom, science teacher at Chico Junior. And we are here to virtually present the eighth grade science awards for the year 2020-2021. So the first award that we're giving, we have three awards we're going to be giving to eighth graders. And the first one goes to Sarah Kamenak. I've had Sarah in my classroom for two years. She is an excellent student and an excellent science student. And I really value that. But even more importantly, she is a leader in the class and works collaboratively. And what we know in science is it is a collaborative effort. We have to have everyone work together and contribute ideas. And she's been a leader in that. Working with sometimes difficult students or students that may not be as engaged she pulls them in, she keeps them going, and is very encouraging. So I'm really excited to give her this award. Good afternoon, my name is Chase Redke and I'm the leadership advisor and eighth grade history teacher at Chico Junior High School. On behalf of the Chico Junior High School History Department, I would like to recognize Claire Deer as one of our outstanding history students with this award. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to have taught Claire in both leadership last year and eighth grade history this year. One thing that I can say about Claire is her determination and work ethic is some of the best I've ever seen. Uh, she is driven. She has a laser-like focus in everything she does. Whether it's taking notes or completing a huge project, she is detail-oriented down to the very T. She takes so much pride in everything she does and her work and herself. Um, it's just outstanding to see someone put that much um, love into their work and I'm really excited to see what she does in the future. Um, she's always adding great ideas in class, asking questions, um, and really thinking deep about the material. So Claire, congratulations, your hard work paid off and I can't wait to see what you do in the future. Good luck.
Well, hi, eighth graders. I'm here to give out the math awards. And um, I just want everybody to know how proud I am of all of you eighth graders, especially those of you who are in math one. Last year as seventh graders, you worked really, really hard to take two classes in one year. That's pretty an amazing feat. And I know Miss Cameron is also proud of you all. So I have four, actually three Math One Awards and one special Mathematics Achievement Award. I have a very special math award to give out. Um, this math award is for Landon Jerry. Um, he gets a special award because when he was in sixth grade, he was in Math BC. That means that he took seventh and eighth grade math when he was in sixth grade. And then when he was in seventh grade, he was in my math one class with all of the eighth graders that were in math one, which means that this year as an eighth grader, he went to the high school to take math two for 10th graders. So I think it's this is a quite amazing feat to be able to be um, the high in math. So. Landon Jerry gets an a special achievement award in mathematics. Chico Junior families, we miss you so much. My name is Miss Jones and it's my honor to be here today to present a special library award to a very impressive student. And that student is Kanat Hanani. And Kanat, we cannot tell you how much we miss you. Mrs. Nelson and I um, have been talking about how you deserve this special award from us. We think that you are one of the most dedicated students that we have met yet on the Chico Junior campus. Your commitment to your education is so impressive. You push yourself to learn beyond all of the expectations that have come from your classes. You are kind, you're thoughtful, you're intelligent, and we know that you will continue to inspire others and achieve any goals that you set for yourself in life. Cannot, we miss you and we love you.
and parents, I would like to recognize four students for the English award this year. The fourth student that I would like to recognize is Bryn Hoover. Bryn, um, just like the three other students I mentioned, I can't imagine this year without you. I love the questions that you would email me. I love how you always wanted to get it right. Your kindness to your classmates, uh, your devotion to your work. All four of you are wonderful students and I miss you so much. So once again, congratulations to Emmett, to Felton, to Elizabeth, and to Bryn. I love you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good afternoon, my name is Chase Redke and I am the leadership advisor and one of the 8th grade history teachers here at Chico Jr. On behalf of the history department, I would like to give one of the history awards to Alexis Jackson. Alexis, congratulations! Alexis is one of the most genuine students I've ever met. She genuinely cares not only about her work, but about others. She's constantly helping others uh, every day. She is one of the students who's always asked me how how is my day how am i doing um as her students and she just genuinely cares about her classmates um with her work she is very detail oriented very focused uh, and goes above and beyond in everything she does while alexis may be soft-spoken you can tell she is always thinking very critically about the information and has some amazing insight and perspectives um, about different topics. Uh, I'm going to miss having the different history uh, conversations with her and I know she's going to do outstanding in whatever she does going forward. Congratulations and best of luck and best of luck Alexis. Bienvenidos estudiantes, padres de familia, mis compañeros de trabajo, uh, a una noche muy especial para reconocer el trabajo de todos estos estudiantes de octavo grado de Chico Junior. Mi nombre es Lucía Ronan y enseño ciencias y español en esta escuela. Good evening, parents, students, my fellow teachers. Uh, we are here to recognize the hard work and dedication of some amazing eighth graders that are graduating from our school. So unfortunately, um, you guys are hearing my speech online, but I did want to take a moment to recognize two students that show outstanding promise in the language field, not necessarily even Spanish, just any language that, that they so choose to, to pursue in their academics. Um, and this award, this Spanish award goes to Celicia Meadows and Josie Lighty, and I hope I'm saying that correctly, um, for your guys's amazing work that you did with me last semester. It takes a lot to keep up with your schoolwork and with your homework, and then to add a new language to that um, makes it even more challenging. But these two students persevered and they worked hard and grew not just in their speaking capabilities, but in their listening capabilities, their writing, 
um, even their reading with some of the short passages that we were able to get done. So I hope that you continue with your language endeavors and I hope to hear um, what wonderful things you guys choose to do with with Spanish um, in your in your future lives. And congratulations. Adios. It's a pleasure to put this video together to recognize this year's outstanding music students at Chico Junior. Both recipients are outstanding musicians who have gone beyond and above. They have participated in all facets of the music program throughout their tenure, concert band, small ensembles, and the jazz band. They have demonstrated leadership and musicianship beyond their years. But most important, they are kind and caring young adults who will do great things in the future. Congratulations, Lindsay Becker and Wesley Martin. All right, eighth graders, here comes another math award and it is for Erica Madsen. She is one of the top two girls in my math one class and she has done so well in my class that of all of the test scores she has only missed five points out of 505 points on all the tests. So she does meticulous work, she is very kind, and she is always willing to help people in her class. So 8th grade math award to Erica Matson. And this award, this Spanish award, goes to Celicia Meadows and Josie Lighty, and I hope I'm saying that correctly, um, for your guys' amazing work that you did with me last semester. It takes a lot to keep up with your schoolwork and with your homework, and then to add a new language to that um, makes it even more challenging. But these two students persevered and they worked hard and grew not just in their speaking capabilities but in their listening capabilities their writing um, even their reading with some of the short passages that we were able to get done so i hope that you continue with your language endeavors and i hope to hear um, what wonderful things you guys choose to do with with spanish um, in your in your future lives and congratulations Adios.
Hello, Giselle. This is Miss Fisher. And um, I'm here today to congratulate you on the award that I nominated you for. And the reason that I nominated you for this award is because in the short time that I got to be your teacher in class, I saw some really great characteristics in you. And a few of those characteristics are that while many of your classmates might have been giving 60-75% to some assignments, you were always giving me 100%. And I love that about you. Even in the face of adversity, um, I get the sense that maybe life isn't always the easiest for you. You give it your all and you come with your heart to your assignments. You're a critical thinker and you have amazing creativity. And those are three skills that when you put them together, you've got a bright future. And so I just wanted to recognize that in you um, and wish you a eighth grade graduation and take those skills to the next level and just fly. So thanks again for spending your time with me in fifth period life skills. I enjoyed the time that we were there together. Mrs. Huss. I am the drama teacher at Chico Junior and uh, I wanted to take this moment to do a message about drama and a personal message to Isabella. Um, no doubt. So what most people find about drama is that dramas, it helps the students learn how to create complex and believable characters um, they really start to develop some deep emotional intelligence because they're, they're analyzing people from different angles. And, and then when they're doing that and they're on stage, they develop such self-confidence. Um, and I, I can absolutely say that that is true for the majority of the people that I work with, uh, especially Isabella. Um, and just self-awareness. Um, and it adds to, I mean, I mean, I'm going to talk about Isabella here, but it just adds to her charm and grace. Um, it, it, drama becomes addictive. You know, I mean, you're up there on the stage and she even wrote about this just recently in one of our classroom posts, you know, that you've got the buzz of the audience. And, and for me, I, and I'm sure she would say this too, the warmth of the lights and just everybody's backstage, so excited, so jazzed, and the energy is so pumped up. Um, you just can't, help when you go through this transformation in a semester from beginning to end the concept of a show to actually doing a show on stage um, you can't help but have drama become part of who you are and that's what Isabella experienced um, she is a very gifted dancer and when I got her in my first drama class in her uh, sixth grade year she was not ready to go on stage um, she's like wait a minute I dance on stage but she did not want to be in the show just, it's the cycle that everybody goes through. They're like, oh, I don't know about this one. Um, but she was very responsible and mature. And she's like, okay, I can do this. And, and we negotiated and, and I found a part that she was very comfortable with. And so she was Sally the Shoeshine Girl for the mustached melodrama. And uh, I mean, there's a couple of cute little lines and she was, oh, she took it so seriously. She was texting me pictures of costume ideas and asking me for input. Um, it, was, it was absolutely wonderful watching her be so dedicated and interested in this. Okay, so she's up there on stage and she, she liked it. Um, I mean, you can't help but like it. She, she just shines up there. And um, 
for some reason, at least for me, drama helps to make life make sense. Um, and I, I feel like she had that experience as well. It just starts to make life make a lot more sense. Um, so she's up there. That was her first year, sixth grade, seventh grade. I got her again. Uh, and she stepped outside of her box and she auditioned for a really big role. Um, she was Penny from Hairspray. And um, I think that was when she started to realize the second level that occurs in drama, um, the tribe. She became part, I mean, she was before, but I think she really understood and saw how drama becomes a tribe, you know, uh, a team. Um, she even wrote about it, how, and I'll, I'll go here. This is what she wrote in her post, that it brings people together because we all work the entire semester to create one big masterpiece that we all have contributed to. And everybody contributes in the way that they can. And it's so wonderful that she understands. I mean, it's, we bring to the table what we have and we make this masterpiece together. Um, and we make memories and friendships. And that's what I was using the word tribe. It's our drama tribe together. And you can't help but be transformed through that experience. Um, so that was her second year. Third year, I get her back and wow, she's ready. She auditions for the lead um, and she's Jasmine in Aladdin. And she was so beautiful up on there, up on stage, just her poise and um, her confidence and her knowledge of her. I never doubted once would Isabella remember her line? Would Isabella remember when to cut? I mean, she's got it. And um, she brings a, a, a business and a character to the stage that the audience um, can't help but fall in love with. And so she did a spectacular job uh, as, a, as a, a Jasmine in Aladdin. So for me, in my experience at school, I would call that her masterpiece. So well, well done. Um, and then at that point, she learns the next level of drama, which is that you become, she's a triple threat now. In drama and acting, we, we call certain people a triple threat. So she's a threat. Like she can get the, the roles because she has more skills than the person next to her. So she can sing, she can act, and she can dance. And so watch out world because she's coming. Um, and I'd like to say though that she, she's almost like a quadruple threat because, and this is where I'll cry, she has heart. Um, I could have somebody come in, you know, maybe they started the semester late and she was so welcoming and caring and she's just a joy to be around. Um, she's a, one of those people who's just a wonderful human being and I'm so going to miss her. So, um, woo, <laughs> sorry. Um, I'm so thankful that drama was able to enrich your life, Isabella, and um, you enrich the life of everybody that you know. And I think that that helps to make the world a better place. So, um, uh, I'm, I am absolutely honored that you have this award and, uh, I wish you the best in high school. They are so lucky to have you. I would love to fail you and keep you forever, but I can't. <laughs> that wouldn't be fair to you. So uh, go off to high school. Uh, please keep in touch. And uh, just remember that you helped to create something absolutely beautiful. And uh, I think that uh, the legacy of that at our campus will continue to live on. So thank you and congratulations. Hi, Chico Junior families. My name is Ms. Jones. It is my honor to be here with you today to present this library award for one of our really amazing Chico Junior students. And that is you, Ms. Sydney Nelson. Sydney, we so appreciate everything you did for the library this year, including your leadership role that you took on so seriously for our LOL club, our Love Our Library club. We could not have had the club running so efficiently and smoothly with you, especially during all those crazy times 
when we had 70 students attending our meetings, you made everything go so much better and we really, really appreciate you. Think of all the books that you read and previewed for us, giving us your junior high perspective. It was invaluable to us, all of your input on that, Sydney. We really appreciate it. You are so kind and empathetic. Your amazing creativity and art make the world a more colorful and better place. We're gonna miss you next year, but we know you are gonna rock high school and everything else you do. We love you, Sydney. student I would like to appreciate and award is Elizabeth Oberly. Elizabeth, I can't say how much your, um, your wacky spirit, your kind-hearted attitude, your attention to detail, and just the questions that you ask uh, made us also proud of you this year. I always knew that if things were quiet first period that you would always um, pick up the pace, you would always jump in for conversation, and you always had really great things to say. Award is for Emmett Owen. Yeah. Um, well, Emmett is such a great kid. Um, he has what I'd like to call a math mind. He likes to think outside of the box and he likes to go above and beyond what I'm asking him for. We did something called a puzzle investigator and we did squares galore and he came back with these crazy equations. I was like, um, let me look this over because I'm not sure I understand it. And he was totally spot on with what he was thinking. Um, if you look at his grade, he has the highest math grade. And all year long, out of 505 possible points you could get on test, he missed four points. So I am very honored to be able to give out this award to Emmett Owen. The second student I would like to recognize is Emmett Owen. Emmett, I don't think I've ever had a student who cares so much about getting it right. And even after you've put in 100%, um, you still want to take it to 150%. Um, I just really appreciate your studiousness, the high quality of your work, and I actually think that Mrs. Price and I had you slated to get this award, I think maybe in November. I was already so impressed with you. First student that I'd like to recognize is Felton Price. Felton, I love your sense of humor. I love the questions that you ask. I love that you always want to do better. We used your writing as an example more than once this year, and I'm so proud of you.
and I'm going to be presenting for Tilly Stadler and Nate Rauer and I'm going to say something nice about each one. They're very both very well deserving and hardworking students. Um, Nate also was a very hard worker and his all of his work showed a great deal of effort and thought. He also entered the science fair and got a special award from the Department of Microbiology at Chico State. Um, his passion for science is obvious in the questions that he asks in class and the conversations that he comes in and has with me during lunch. I wanted to congratulate you for getting the Counselor's Gold Award. This award is chosen by the counselors to the kid that deserves it the most. And guess what? We chose you. You've had some hard hardships since sixth grade and you have done amazingly. You're very resilient and with an awesome attitude. You have, you're always smiling. And I couldn't, we couldn't have chosen a better student. You are an amazing kid that is going to do wonders in high school. And we just wanted to let you know, congratulations, and we wish you the best summer in the world. And your, old, your name is also going to be in the counseling office forever. So if you come back to us and visit, you get to see us there. Congratulations. Hi. My name is Mrs. Huss. I am the drama teacher at Chico Junior High School. And uh, this is a very fitting award uh, for a very special young man, um, Sam. Uh, he's a, a personality that's larger than life. And I think that the stage is a perfect place for him. Um, I've watched him grow up over these three years the and and just spread his wings i bet that's like that's kind of my theme for him is you know the the he has spread his wings so sixth grade year i get him and i remember him he's just the kind who would just do like that john travolta tr trot right into your room and be like all right i'm ready for this what are we doing right he he just comes prepackaged with playfulness and an eagerness and a joy um and ready to be expressive and have fun um, and that's rare to find in people um, he would describe himself as a social beast which is perfect um, so i think the stage has really been a great place for sam uh, it's a place where he can be that social beast but what was also wonderful for him watching him grow up over these years is watching how every time he had a character and he was on stage, he learned, I believe he's learned, or he probably came with this already, but he develops his characters. And then after that, he owns them. And when he owns his characters, he becomes a bigger, better version of Sam. I mean, every time he reinvents himself as a bigger, better version of himself. Um, and he's so dedicated to it. It, it's just, it's inspiring. Um, so when you create a character on stage, you start to learn how to analyze people and, and characters from different situations, from different angles. And he has a curiosity, a natural curiosity about that. And even the stage itself. Um, so let's just go through this. Okay, sixth grade year. He is rip off Van Winkle uh, which was the comedy part, the comedy relief of a melodrama, our mustache melodrama. And I'm, I mean, he was ready. He, he wanted to just go out there and have a good time. And um, he loves it when other people are brought into that as well. I mean, so welcoming. Um, you know, he was texting me pictures because, of course, if you know Sam, you know he loves uh, Fancy Friday. 
and uh, the opportunity to dress up in different ways. And I'm getting like costumes, costume ideas. Well, what about this? It was a purple jacket with, with white fringe. I loved it. And then he's like, no, you know, this character, I, I think it, he would be more like the type of person that would wear like a, a red cape. Um, I loved it. And so watching him get excited about characters and be dedicated to acting and dedicated to doing it well, uh, well done. And then um, his seventh grade year, he decides he's going to one up this and he auditions for and gets the lead male role of Link Larkin in Hairspray. Um, and watching him, uh, it was funny because in the beginning it was just like, oh, woo, woo. And then he's already starting to plan his costume out. <laughs> I have a totally awesome outfit for this. And when he, you know, he's coming to his performance, he's got his hair done and just, I mean, style. This boy's got style. Excuse me. This young man's got style. You're going off to high school. Don't even get me started. I will start to cry. Eighth grade year, he comes in and um, our first, we, we were very uh, ambitious this year. We were going to do two shows. So he auditions right out of the gate and got the role, earned the role as Aladdin. And um, it was, I think, one of those moments in his life where he was excited and he knew how serious this was all at the same time. And that's Sam. He's dedicated. He's going to do it right and he's going to do it well. Um, and he also then, you know, I, it was, I'm, I'm choked up. Watching him you know, Mrs. Huss, what can I help with? What can I do? Watching it, uh, that curiosity. How are the set pieces put together? How are the props put together? Um, he's taking what he's learning and he's, in a, he's applying it in new and creative ways. And no matter what you choose to do in life, Sam, I think that is, I mean, beyond being spectacular and having confidence and energy and fun, and being able to look at things from different and new angles and appreciate how things are put together. Um, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, I, I hope that that's something that you continue to grow. Um, and then of course, our second show, he decides that he wants to audition to be the donkey. I, I, I just think that Sam enjoys comedy roles. Um, and he is, so hard working after I mean after school he's staying we're practicing um he's ready and so you know when I say you're ready I I'm gonna go back to something I said in the very beginning is it's like I got to watch you grow up he's three years together and um I mean we had a anybody who came into class he would welcome them and he was excited and and, and supportive and um, you know we had our, our drama our dra drama family so Sam you are an amazing human being um, high school is lucky to have you and uh, he, we were making jokes or you know, that people, people were gonna start hiding in the cabinets so, so that they could stay so Sam congratulations on winning this drama award um, I wish you continued success the high school is so lucky to have you. Spread that joy, spread that um, desire to be wonderful and continue that positive, infectious, happy spirit that you can't help but bring to everybody around you. So congratulations. Hello, my name is Kevin Wisdom. I am a uh, physical education teacher here at Chico Junior, and it is my distinct pleasure to introduce the male physical education student of the year. I had the pleasure of having this young man in my class. Uh, he is a very well liked uh, amongst his peers. Um, he's a leader by example. His laid back uh, demeanor makes him easy 
uh, to get along with. Uh, we normally do not give this award to, um, quote unquote, the best male athlete in the school, but this young man um, is up there. Uh, it is my distinct pleasure uh, to introduce to you the male PE student of the year, Jake Sorayo. Congratulations, buddy. And in honor of you, I am wearing my board shorts and flip-flops. You will be missed, buddy. Good luck at Chico High. Jones. I'm the teacher librarian for all three junior highs and it is my honor to be here today to talk to you about a really special student and that's Lily Snyder. Lily, we miss you so much. Lily has opted to be our library aide for the entire school year. That means that she chose to be our library assistant for her elective. We could not have made it through the year without you, Lily. You are such a diligent, hard worker. You always completed everything that we ask you to do with a great attitude. You do everything efficiently and pleasantly. We just love being able to spend every day during our first lunch period with you, and we thank you so much for all that you did for us. Um, we even tolerated it when you ran off with Alyssa to go and run call slips. Uh, pretty much every day, but we love you and we miss you, Lily. Um, no shade to Lindsay or Jamesy, but you know, you're pretty much our favorite Snyder so far. So Lily, on behalf of Mrs. Nelson and I, we appreciate all that you did for the library and we are honored to give you this award today as our library aide for Chico Junior this year. Hello, I'm Mr. Irwin. It is my pleasure to present Lindsay Snyder and Elliot Bailey with the eighth grade STEM awards. They were excellent role models during their time at the Chico Junior STEM program. They showed tremendous productivity, determination, and ingenuity in solving robotics challenges. I can't wait to see the exciting accomplishments that they achieve in the future. Tilly um, was not in my honors class, but opted to take the honors curriculum and do it independently in, on her own in my um, regular eighth grade science class. And in doing so, she did it with an exceptional, exceptional amount of uh, thought and effort. And her work was always superior. She was a great student leader and uh, really did a great job of motivating those around her and helping others through uh, the learning the difficult concepts that we teach in science. Um, I've really enjoyed having both students in my class this year. I'm bummed that we don't get to spend the rest of the year with them, um, but I want them to know that we are thinking about them and we do, when we reflect on the year, we do appreciate the work and the, and the care and the compassion and the motivation that they have exhibited throughout the year that they've been in our classes. So we do look forward to when this is over that each of the three of them come by and say hello so we can give them a hug and share that recognition with them in person. And I think we can, I can, I'm speaking for both of us, I think that we feel very confident in them being very successful in high school. Oh, absolutely. Zero worries for these students. Yeah, we're they're, excited to see their progress. They're exceptional. Thank you for all of the time and the, the energy that you've put into both of our classes. We, we appreciate and we miss, we miss we you. We miss you, yes. All right. All right. We'll see you again. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
started. It's Ms. Fisher. Uh, this is a short video that I wanted to record for you. Uh, I nominated you for this award because in the short time that I was your teacher, I saw in you one, an attention to detail, and two, a desire for education. And as you go on to the high school in the next four years, I don't ever want you to lose that desire for information. Find the people who know what you need to know and learn from them. And that's what I saw in you. And that's why I nominated you for this award. Congratulations. Well, the other math award for the girl is Sophia Villasenor. Sophia has done so well in my class that on the, in the second semester, she has only missed one whole point. I repeat, one whole point on test, which I believe is not very easy to do. So, she has worked really, really hard in Math 1, and she works so hard, in fact, that while she is working, if there are people around her, she will most definitely help you. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really proud of her. And so for another Math Award goes to Sofia Villasenor. This year's award for Outstanding History Student goes to Mason Winsens. Mason, your work illustrates that you have a deep understanding of history and that you've mastered the skills needed to be proficient at it. Those skills include, but are not limited to, understanding cause and effect relationships, being able to think critically, and more importantly, being able to communicate your findings at an exceptional level. Mason, you are also an amazing human being. You're kind, you're kind to your classmates and to your teachers. You're one of those kids who I always knew could be counted on to help out a neighbor or even to help out your teacher. Your future teachers are gonna be lucky to have you. And Mason, I see a very bright future in store. Congratulations.